This is the 2023 8th generation Lenovo Flex 3i Chromebook. It seems Black Friday has come early with this one and in this video I'll explain the deal I got on it, I'll run you through my thoughts on it as well as what to watch out for in the specs when buying this model. I'll also give you a bit of a comparison against the previous generation. If you follow me on X, you may have seen my post at the start of the month when this was available from Very in the UK for just £195. That's about US$238, which as you'll see for the spec, including 8GB of RAM, seemed like a great deal to me. Understandably, since then it's gone out of stock and the voucher code has expired, but it's worth watching out for as we approach the actual Black Friday. Subscribers of the channel will have probably expected to see this latest 8th gen Flex 3i pop up at some time, as from some of my earlier Chromebook videos we've hopefully seen both my videos evolve a bit, and much more so the evolution of Lenovo's small convertible Chromebook lineup. We've had the C330, to the C340 11, to the Flex 3i 5th and 6th generations. On paper there are a lot of nice upgrades with this latest generation that I'll call out in this video. The unboxing itself is pretty standard as you may expect it's the usual 45 watt USB-C charger, some paperwork you're never going to read and of course the Chromebook. Starting with the basics though there are two colour offerings, mine is in the cloud grey which is a slightly lighter grey than you will have seen in the 6th gen model I had and there's also an abyss blue, I think that shade of blue will be similar to the 5th gen model I had. Build quality feels solid enough, it's an all plastic build and thankfully the only real flex is in the name of the Chromebook. And weight wise it's coming in at 1.23kg, that's about £2.71, just about what you'd expect for what is still a more budget Chromebook and slightly lighter than the previous model. Like with the last generation, they've kept to the part textured finish on a third of the top, just making the grooves slightly wider. It's personal taste, but I like the look of it and it gives a bit of extra grip. There are no fans or grills on the bottom of the Chromebook, which is always good to see or not in this case. And being the flex model, it is of course fully convertible. Now getting into the core spec, I've got the Intel M100 processor in this one, but you can get up to the N200. I've got 8GB of RAM, but there are models also with 4GB, and I've got 128GB of storage, which is the maximum you'll find. Now from my brief usage so far, it's certainly not struggling with anything I'm throwing at it, including a bit of gaming, and I think that's really down to the pairing of the 8GB of RAM and this new processor. Battery life is also keeping up really well. It's running 64-bit Chrome OS and with the recently extended AUE dates, do check out my linked video in the description, it'll get Chrome OS updates all the way through to June 2033. If you want to check the configs available in your country and understand more on this, I've left the model details in the video description and a link to my recent video explaining how you can check the specs of any Lenovo model range to help you make a more informed Chromebook buying decision. The IPS touchscreen has one of the biggest upgrades. We finally get a full HD resolution. It's 1920 by 1200 in a 16 by 10 ratio. So a slightly taller screen, which does help give a bit more real estate and is noticeable when browsing or working on documents, for example. Hopefully you can tell the newer model is on the left here, and this time the screen size is 12.2 inches rather than the 11.6 inches we've seen on the earlier generations. And along with thinner bezels, Lenovo have been able to keep the device's footprint near identical to the 6th gen model. Here's the two of them for a brief comparison, the newer model in the lighter grey and with the slight lip to lift the lid that houses the webcam. The screen is nice and bright too with the claimed 300 nits from Lenovo. It's worth noting though there are no model variations with pen compatibility. Via my pluggable dock there was no issue running two full HD extended monitors off the Flex 3i and I could even use its own screen as a third display. And at the top of that display as mentioned you do get the full HD webcam, another big upgrade, but do watch out there's some models that only have the 720p version. All versions come with the manual privacy slider. The keyboard features another big win for me here, this spec I have is backlit, something that I don't think we've seen even as an option on the Flex 3 series before. And the typing experience so far is nice enough but the keys feel a bit softer than on the previous generation to me and a bit less clicky and I'm not sure if I prefer that. The trackpad again is by no means bad but when I click it feels slightly louder than on the previous 6th gen model. I do like the inclusion of the dedicated mute button for the mic on the keyboard, I haven't seen that as an option on the shortcut keys before, another nice touch for practicality. The speakers are up in the centre top of the keyboard again, it's good to see Lenovo kept them there, so unless you're in one of the convertible modes it means you have sound firing up at you. Quality and loudness seem okay so far, maybe the max audio setup is helping, the last generation was certainly a little on the quiet side. 
port wise connectivity is pretty decent very similar to the sixth gen so you get two full-size usb-a ports just the one usb-c port sadly but again with the bonus of an included hdmi port you've also got an audio headset connection a micro sd card slot and a kensington nano security slot let me know what you think of this flex 3i in the comments i think it's fast becoming my favorite small chromebook to use right now and in the meantime check out this next video from the channel